If weird camera edits bother you, my sincere apologies. I forgot to turn on my PlayStation 4 to record the video, so I was looking at a camera that wasn't on for 99% of this video. I catch it at the end. We all have a good laugh over the situation, so just hang on. It's, you're not insane. It's me. Take care, and I hope you enjoy. Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this, another brand new day. It is, well, uh, there's birds singing outside, and I know there's a sun because there's light. Now, whether or not there's a cloud cover between Shelton, Washington, and that sun is unknown at this moment. I haven't looked outside, but it's hard to say. But it is a brand new day here in Shelton, Washington at 7.01 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I have therapy today, <coughs> so I'm not going to be cutting between cameras. No massive great things. I've got, my therapy is at 9 o'clock, which means I record at 7, edit at 7.30, render at 8, upload at 8.30, and then therapy at 9. Not a bunch of time left for, for a whole bunch of things. Thumbs up for that. So, oh boy. The previous night when I went to bed and I woke up like an hour into sleep, that was a night I had forgotten to take a caffeine capsule. So last night I took a caffeine capsule. And one hour into my sleep, I was awake. So whether or not I take caffeine or, yeah, whether or not I take caffeine, <coughs> I was about to engage in the Department of Redundancy Department thing with, but I didn't sleep well, so joy. But I just had a fleecy blanket on my sheet and I wasn't really warm, comfortably warm, but nor was I uncomfortably cool. I just, for whatever reason, for whatever reason, I am just popping awake. And then I am tossing and turning with dips and dives into sleep, but then coming back up into being awake and then flipping and flopping and tossing and turning. So I'm tired, joy. Life is life though, life is life. You gotta play the hand you're dealt, joy. And I don't know how to play poker, so I'm screwed. Which is actually true. I've tried my whole life to figure out card games. I, I can't do it, even with a sheet telling me what to do. It's, I... But life is life. Life is life. <laughs> so last night, I did in fact go walkies again. And that was good. I didn't make it to Walmart, and in fact, it's probably going to be a while before I do that, and I'll explain why after I talk about how what I did for walkies. Because I live in southern Shelton, I just walk around downtown Shelton. You have to come out of the hills in southern Shelton into the valley of downtown Shelton, and that's where I walked. And it's just, I walked around. First, I had taken the loop up to the top of this one road, Olympic Highway South, so that it added like a good mile to the route. And that was good. So, I mean, I gotta walk as much as I can and where I can. So adding the loop, if I'm not gonna make it up to Walmart, is something I'm gonna have to do every single time. Joy, but that's okay. And so I must have gotten at least three, possibly four, possibly four miles. And that was good. Definitely a thumbs up on that. So, lately though, when I've been going to bed this past month and some, I think about a month, that's what I really remember, it's my calves have just been twitching and jerking as I, as I go to sleep. Last night, in my right calf, it didn't just twitch and jerk, but deep inside, it was twitching, jerking, and then it started to hurt. It was like, ooh. Kind of like a Charlie horse, but not quite. And then it went, oh, in intensity, and then went back down. So something happened inside there. 
not necessarily a good thing. Ugh. But at least it's not like the restless leg I used to have. I used to have restless leg syndrome even back before I injured my back. But I've injured, I've had about 10 or 12, in the 15 years I worked as a nurse's aide, I've injured my back about 10 or 12 times. It was the last injury that was the straw on the camel's back and my back has been destroyed since then. But even before my last injury, I'd been having restless leg syndrome things. And restless leg isn't, Oh, I have to move my legs. Oh, I, I just, you know, I, I need to move my legs while I'm sleeping. No, restless leg is an intolerable feeling inside of your legs that builds and grows. <clears throat> it's a really hard to explain feeling because there's no real words to explain this. But re the feeling that you get in what I get, my particular feelings, when I have restless leg is it feels like there's ants crawling all under my skin, all over my body, but I only feel it in my calves. It's like I've been punched in the nose, but I feel it in my calves. It's like I'm being shocked with electricity, but I only feel it in my calves. And that feeling just builds and builds until I move my legs. So it's not a, oh gosh, you know, I have to move my legs and then I can go to sleep. No, this is this horrible, intolerable feeling. And it only happens for most people when they lie down and try to go to sleep. Not when they're awake and sitting or awake and doing other things, but when trying to go to sleep, then that feeling in your calves that it's intolerable. It had built to a crescendo where I would have that feeling when trying to lie down and go to sleep. I would occasionally have that feeling also when I was sitting in a chair, like right here, so I'd have to go out walkies. There are also times when I had that feeling when I was lying down, I had that feeling when I was sitting in a chair, and I had that feeling when I was walking. So there was no activity that made it go away. And that was horrific. Thank God it didn't happen, happen often. But, and I'm not going to complain, largely my restless leg syndrome has gone. I say largely because I still have issues. And in fact, right now my calves are still twitching inside and they're doing things. And it's not a, a pleasant feeling. So there's stuff going on and I don't know what. <sighs> Joy. <laughs> life is life. And as a happy note, on top, well, I had been said I was going to explain something, but I, hopefully I did anyway. So if I didn't, then I'm, it's gone and I can't. But on a happy note, on top of a bad note, my checking account had been like minus 150 some odd dollars and then some GoFundMe contributions from very, very wonderful and beautiful people out there dribbled in and brought me down to like minus 130. So that was, that was good. Any getting me back to zero is wonderful. And then a whole bunch of rolling things came through and suddenly I was minus $225. And that sucks. But I was checking my checking account to see if perhaps any other contributions had come in. And I actually did get my stimulus deposit check from the government. So that's nice. So it was 1200 which, you know, I don't have that anymore because I was minus 225. I'm now positive. And that's a good thing. One of the things I really want to do, if the dental place is still partially open, or if I have, if they're still open after all this is done, I hope they are, it's like $500 to get your dentures recast. And since my upper plate is broken to the point that 
even eating like potato salad, I worry about the hardness of the, the soft potatoes further damaging this plate because when it fully breaks, something's going to come right out of there and it's going to be useless. So joy on that. Hopefully they're going to be still open at some point and we see what happens. Yay! <laughs> so it's it's nice to know that that things worked out because I was checking the IRS, you know, get my payment site thing, whatever the the words are actually called, and entering in my info to see if I was going to get it. It was like your social security number does not match your address, and so it wouldn't give me any info because of that error. So apparently in the past like 20 years since I last, well not 20, 15 years since I last filed any taxes, I've forgotten to tell the IRS where I've moved to and I have moved like four or five times during that period. So huh, maybe I should check on that, fill in the appropriate forms. <laughs> But at least it went through. I mean, uh, because I'm on disability, they don't take out taxes. And because they don't take out taxes, if you're on disability and they don't take out taxes, you don't have to file. And so I haven't been filing. There's no reason. And they say, because there's no reason, you shouldn't. Well, you know, up to you because why? There, there's no need. So thumbs up on that. But still, that's just the way things are. And that's the way my life has been going. And with the stressors of worrying about what's going to happen. Because I don't know when to be able to let go. And I'm trying to still learn that now. And by let go, I mean I am so bothered about what is happening to the country and the world politically and health-wise. But effectively, <coughs> excuse me. Ah. Effectively, there's nothing that I can do to change it. So worrying about it isn't going to help anything. And even though I don't want our world to end, you know, in 60 years, aside from doing what very little I can do, it's all out of my control. Worrying is just my mental way of trying to retain some control over the situation in a situation where I am powerless. So I gotta, I gotta let go because it doesn't help. All it does is keep me upset. Thumbs up. I mean, try and funnel your outrage into something into, into positive action. Like if you can go into political outreach and do things or you manage to change stuff so that things are different in whatever way you can, please do. It's just at this point in my life with my age, my physical stuff going on, the mental issues I've got going on, by the time let's say I really decided to push and go into politics, I, by the time I got there, it's, what would it matter? What would it matter? I'm not going to be able to make any real changes, so. Thumbs up. Just do what you can. Be inspired. <laughs> or just try to live your life. Thumbs up on that. Well, though. I'm going to cut this one just a little bit short because I don't really have anything to say. I can't think of anything that's been going on in my life other than, you know, I wish I could remember. Okay, that would have been a good thing to talk about, but trying to chase the, the breadcrumb the trail there and I got lost and it always hurts. But... I haven't even opened up 24 hours worth of comments on my community tab. I am going to go through and open up 24 hours worth of comments on my community tab. And then I'm going to thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. I'm not reading the comments, especially since right now I would forgotten to call them up. But I'm not reading them right now. I'm just thanking you for having left me a comment. <coughs> 
I hate the YouTube studio. It used to be, you know, kind of ugly and old-ish, but it worked, and it worked well, and it worked quickly. This new YouTube studio, when you're trying to scroll through comments, it'll just do a little bit of reading and polling and reading and polling only as you need it. And so it doesn't load in a page of stuff and then you scroll through the page. No, it gives you a couple and then you've got to scroll and then it stops, reads the website and then renders it. And then you can scroll jerkily upward and then it has to stop, talk to the server. Oh, it drives me nuts. It is so inefficient and just, it's terrible. But Brutish Wing 2.0, thumbs up and thank you. And Caroline or Caroline H, thumbs up and thank you. Leonard N N I J S, thumbs up and thank you. Abraham Czar, thank you very, very much. And Leroy Merabi, greatly appreciated. We have Alex MJ Broken64. Thumbs up and thank you much. And this uh I'm trying to scroll so that it will load because it had to refresh and then it just wouldn't. I hate what they've done. It is ridiculous. Confuse Owl 29, greatly appreciated. Jessica Redicop, thank you very much. Al Saig Al A L S Y A F I Q. I just can't make my, my mouth do the syllables this morning. My sincere apologies. I don't know why, but it just won't. Kathy Kitzkat, greatly appreciated. Glamour Jinx, thumbs up and thank you. We have Feral Scientist, thumbs up. There's Eclipusex, thumbs up. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Hung Wing, thumbs up and thank you. Kyle McDonald, greatly appreciated. Adrian Bryan, there we are, greatly appreciated. And no fears. Kablooski, thumbs up and thank you. Rizka P. Thumbs up and thank you much. XMLI Deep X, greatly appreciated. There is Vori. Thumbs up and thank you. Kurayi, Kuraji. I don't know how to pronounce that properly, but thank you very, very much. Jonathan Martin, greatly appreciated. Fortnite. <laughs> Thumbs up and thank you much. John Cahill, greatly appreciated. And last but not least, Kev Kev. Thumbs up and thank you. Each and every one of you. You get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people. And that is greatly, greatly appreciated. Definitely a thumbs up. <clears throat> If you could check out my various links down below, I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. If you wanted to help me out but you didn't want to send money to one of those two places, I have an app, PayPal link down below. My mouth is just trying to say something else while my brain is saying, say this. If you could check that out, that would be cool. And if you wanted to help me out but you didn't want to send money, I have an Amazon wish list link down below. Updated with new cat food on there that says it's in stock, so hopefully... If you could check that out, that would be very cool. Now, do not feel obligated. I do not feel entitled. And if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I'll take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. If you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get for my existence. Another definite thumbs up. And of course, if you could subscribe to the channel and <coughs> hit that bell. That would be very cool. Greatly appreciated. I would understand if you did not wish to, but if you are down with it, I will do my best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time. I cannot believe I did this. <laughs> I cannot believe I did this. I forgot to turn on my PlayStation 4, so it's using my Logitech camera this entire time. I have been looking off to the side. <sighs> My sincere apologies now that that's all done. <laughs> oh yes, this is one of the things that, that really, really helps. And I do this now as you see me realizing I did something intensely stupid. So, but what did I do? Immediately smile and laugh. Whenever I do anything stupid now that before I would have tortured myself for, while well, all I do now, the first thing is smile and laugh at myself because if it happened to anybody else if you saw it in a movie or if it happened to a friend you laugh because it's funny 
The only reason it's not funny is because it happened to you. And of course, comedy, the tragedy is the essence of comedy. You know, I cut my finger, that's a tragedy. You fall down an open manhole and die, now that's comedy. So, yeah, I, you have to laugh at yourself. So the first thing I do when I do anything stupid anymore, no matter what it is, I don't get angry. Wait a minute. I make a conscious effort first thing to smile and laugh because when you smile, when you laugh, it lights up the happy circuits of your brain. Yes, of course, I'm a human being. I feel irritation and anger. But that bump of irritation and anger is smashed down and flattened by the amusement of the situation. Of course, I'm a human being. I felt immediate irritation. But laughing at myself, it helps. Definitely a thumbs up. <coughs> so I wish I'd done it properly, but I hadn't. But you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend. And that is a very good thing.